Welcome back to Miss Meryl Makes. I'm Miss Meryl, and today I have a really awesome project to get you ready for summer. I'm going to be teaching you how to make some magic sunglasses like the ones you see here. I call them magic sunglasses because inside of the lenses or the part that you look through on real sunglasses, you are going to draw any place that you would like to visit. Now, I know that we can't actually look through these because they're made out of paper, right? But that's why they're called magic sunglasses because you're gonna use your imagination to transport you today. So some things to think about are, where is a place that you would like to visit? So it could be a real place, like if you want to visit a tropical beach or go camping somewhere or go to an amusement park, or it could be an imaginary place from a book or a movie or even a place that might be a little hard to get to, like outer space. For me, I love to visit tropical places and beaches. So as you can see, I have my tropical shirt on because my magic sunglasses are ready for a beautiful day at the beach with some waves and a surfboard and some palm trees and a sunset. That sounds so nice. So start to think about some ideas. Your materials that you'll need today are pencil and eraser, in case you need to erase anything along the way, paper. I recommend a thicker paper, like a cardstock or a tag board, but if you don't have that, any regular white paper will work at home just fine. Scissors, you'll need some scissors today, and some coloring materials to decorate your beautiful magic sunglasses. If you wanna pair this lesson with a read aloud, I love to read Pete the Cat and His Magic Sunglasses to go with this lesson, and I've posted a link to a read aloud for this book in the information section of this video. All right, I can't wait to get started. Okay, everyone, here I have all of my materials ready. I have my pencil, eraser, my thicker piece of paper, like a tag board or cardstock if you have it. If not, just whatever you have at home is fine. My scissors and some coloring materials for later. So I'm gonna set some of these items to the side for now, except for my pencil. And to start the sunglasses, we are actually gonna fold this piece of paper in half because that's what's gonna help us make both sides of it even. So if I fold my example in half, when we cut it out, we're gonna cut it while the paper is still folded and that will make it very even. So to fold, line up the two shorter sides of the paper. So this is my other short side, line it up and then press down on the crease. And then coming out from the fold, we are going to draw half of the sunglasses shape. So to start that, we're gonna draw a little curved line close to the top that curves down coming out of the fold. Make sure that your folded side is on the left. Then we're gonna draw a larger stretched out rainbow shape line to start to form the lenses. And then we're going to take the end of this and draw a horizontal line or straight across all the way to the edge. And then we're just going to sort of repeat that or double it up underneath this shape from above. So we are going to draw another curved line about an inch down that follows the shape of the one on top coming out of the fold. But then here we are going to do the opposite. We're going to draw a big smile or letter U shape. And where that line's going to end is kind of about an inch down from this little corner right here. So I can even make a little dot to mark it. And then I'm just going to make a big letter U or smile shape to connect those two points. And then again, straight out to the side. Now I'm going to cut this out while it's still folded to make the same shape on the other side. Okay, now I'm going to unfold my sunglasses. And you'll notice you have the same shape on both sides. This looks great. So next what I'm going to do is draw the lenses. So to make the lenses, that's the part of the sunglasses that you look through and where we're gonna draw our picture inside. We're just gonna draw a smaller version of the shape of each side. 
I'm gonna use my Sharpie now for the rest, but you just use pencil or whatever you feel comfortable with to start this out. So I'm going to draw a curved line on each side that follows the shape of the top and starts just a little bit diagonally from this corner here to this corner here. So just a little bit below it. And don't worry if they're not super even. You won't be able to tell once you have all of the details complete. And then again, another letter U shape or big smile shape to connect these two spaces. And now I'm ready to start drawing my picture inside. So I'm actually gonna recreate my beach scene here, but again, you can draw any place you want, real or imaginary. So to start my beach scene, I'm gonna draw the surfboard first, the big surfboard with two curved lines that connect at the top right here. Then at the bottom, I'm going to make a small mountain shaped line to go from side to side and a double line down the middle. Then I'm going to add a big palm tree over here, which I make with two lines that are gonna flare out towards the bottom. So they're gonna start to stretch out towards the bottom of the lens. Then I'm going to make a zigzag line, kind of in the shape of a star. And each little zigzag's a little more curved. That's how I make the palm leaves. Next, I'm gonna draw the horizon line where the ocean meets the sky. So I'm gonna draw a straight line across, skip over the brim, and continue it on the other side. And I have to skip over my surfboard and parts of my palm tree. I'm going to draw an island on each side by making a bumpy line that comes down. So it starts up a little higher on the side of the lens and then comes down. I can add more palm trees if I want onto each island. I'm just gonna do one on each side for this version and I curve mine towards the middle. And then I'm going to draw a bumpy line for the shore where the water touches the sand. Continue that on the other side. Skip over the trunk of my palm tree. And the last thing I'm gonna add into this picture, the last two things are the sun and a wave. So to make this kind of tunnel wave like this, if you're interested. I make that by drawing the shape of a candy cane on its side. And then from the top of the candy cane's curve right here, I'm gonna draw another candy cane shape. And then I'm gonna connect the two ends with a long stretched out bumpy cloud shape for where the wave breaks and it turns like white water. And then just some curved lines inside of that part of the wave to show its movement. And now all I have to do is color my sunglasses in. What I like to do when I color them is put a piece of paper underneath. That way I can color all the way to the edges. So for example, like this, and it won't get on my table or surface. Um, you can do a pattern or any sort of design on the frames, this outside part of the sunglasses, or you can color it all one color.
Thank you so much everyone for watching this video. I hope that you have a fantastic time making your magic sunglasses and they transport you to the place of your dreams. Bye everyone.